trichomoniasis is the topic for this video and trichomoniasis is essentially an infection with trichomonas so and this is the name of the disease and this is the name of the organism it's called trichomonas vaginalis so let's get started now what's uh, very characteristic about this organism and you will see this in clinical vignettes is that it's flagellated and essentially what that means is that it's motile and that's very characteristic of it another thing that's characteristic that it's a, it's a sexually transmitted disease and that separates it from other causes of vaginitis and generally speaking it occurs in women a little bit more than men so what are the symptoms well essentially what we're talking about is a case of vaginitis that can occur most commonly in a woman and some of the more characteristic findings are this type of just discharge that's known as yellow green uh, discharge and the very key buzzword is that it's frothy and that's important to remember and this vaginal discharge will be described on almost every clinical vignette. Another part of the symptomatology will include vulvar, itching, pruritus, and some burning as well. Now how do you diagnose this? What you do is you take some vaginal secretions and you do a wet mount. And you do two types of wet mounts. You do a wet mount with KOH and you do a wet mount with saline. Now the first wet mount is done essentially to get a characteristic odor and that's known as the whiff test and because there's a production of amines uh, during this uh, infection with trichomonas this whiff test will produce a fishy odor so that's very important to remember now the saline wet mount is done to essentially to detect the trichomonads the organism and that's also a very important characteristic finding and what you'll see basically are these pear-shaped motile organisms and you will see their flagella which is sort of their tail or basically the part that helps them swim another part of the diagnosis is of course the vaginal pH and the vaginal pH will be high it'll be greater than 4.5 so how do you treat it? Well, without a doubt, the most common is metronidazole. And this uh, medication also needs to be given to the partner, treat the sexual partner, because it is a sexually transmitted disease. So remember that. Also remember that metronidazole is not to be taken with alcohol, because if you do give it with alcohol, it can cause this uh, very famous disulfiram reaction which essentially is a, a very unpleasant side effects. Disulfiram is sometimes also known as antabuse. So let's get started with some clinical vignettes, see what this looks like. A 25-year-old woman comes to the outpatient office complaining of pruritic, painful vaginal discharge. She is sexually active with two male sexual partners but finds intercourse very uncomfortable because of her vaginal symptoms. For the past eight months, she has been using estrogen, progestin, contraceptive patch. She exercises regularly by walking two or three miles a day. She follows a low carb diet, takes multivitamins. Uh, general exams are remarkable. Specular exam of vagina shows a foul smelling greenish frothy discharge. Vaginal pH is 6.5. A wet mount in a saline suspension reveals a highly motile organism. Which of the following pharmacologic agents would be most appropriate? Well, the clinical vignette is a very good one. It gives you a lot of information that was without a doubt trichomonas. And they're just asking what kind of treatment would you give. And the most appropriate treatment for trichomonas is metronidazole. Next question. 28-year-old woman comes to the office with a four-day history of itching, burning, and an awful smelling vaginal discharge. She says that she and her boyfriend had similar symptoms a few months ago, which resolved after treatment by his physician. Now she believes that he is fooling around because this disease has returned. Physical exam, her vulva is erythematous and there is patches of petechiae in the upper vagina and on the cervix. 
there's copious amounts of yellow-green frothy malodorous vaginal discharge. Examination of this discharge on a saline wet mount would most likely reveal. Well, this question is a good one. They're basically saying, what characteristic finding will you see on this wet mount that will distinguish it from other types of vaginitis? And the most common uh, characteristic finding of trichomonas vaginalis is the fact that it's motile, that it's got these flagelli that will help it swim. So the answer is E. And now we have the last three. Sexually active 23-year-old woman presents with increased vaginal discharge. She complains of vaginal itching, burning with urination, and pain with intercourse. Pelvic exam reveals a frothy yellow malodorous discharge, particular hemorrhages on the cervix. Which of the following findings would you expect to see on a wet mount potassium hydroxide preparation? Well, as discussed earlier in the video, this uh, KOH prep is really done to uh, get a characteristic odor known as the whiff test. And because of pr production of amines, you'll get a very fishy type odor. So the answer to this question would be... Now, the second question, which of the following measures do you recommend? This is just asking about the treatment, of course. And the treatment for this uh, is metronidazole because it's a uh, infection with trichomonas. And finally, the woman follows your advice but returns six weeks later with the same complaints. Only transient improvement has occurred. Which of the following measures do you now recommend? This is very interesting. The thing with uh, STDs is that the partner also needs to be treated. So if she was initially treated and then came back some weeks later with the same problems, chances are she's being reinfected. So definitely her partner needs to be treated. So that would be choice D.